Its watch says that government-backed Iraqi militias are recruiting children to fight against Islamic State. It's found that boys are apparently being recruited in at least one refugee camp in the Kurdistan region to help in a planned offensive to remove ISIL from Mosul, the group's largest remaining stronghold in Iraq. A senior children's rights worker in the area has been telling us more. We talked to uh, two residents of a displaced persons camp and also some humanitarian uh, actors who all described what happened in one particular incident on August 14th when two very large trucks were driven up to one of the displaced persons camps, 250 people got on those trucks, including at least seven and possibly eight confirmed cases of children. And they were driven to another location that's closer to the front line of the fight with the Islamic State. This is a violation of international law that Iraq has voluntarily signed up to. These cases of child recruitment that we have documented uh, should prompt real oversight not only from the Iraqi government, but also from its allies, such as the United States, which have been uh, supporting the Iraqi armed forces. Well, the U.S. has been actively helping the Iraqi government in its fight against ISIL and pushing for an offensive to begin to retake Mosul by the end of the year. This is a goal that Washington has frequently referred to. We're supporting Iraqi security forces who are beginning to put pressure on the ISIL stronghold of Mosul. And we will not stop until ISIL's safe havens are destroyed. We share Prime Minister Abadi's goal of liberating Mosul as quickly as possible. We are working very closely with the Iraqis and with our NATO allies to see to it that Mosul is recaptured and returned to Iraqi hands out of the hands of ISIL. We're going to make available attack helicopters in support of the ISF's ongoing efforts to envelop and then retake Mosul, an important capability. The best approach would be to defeat ISIS's ability both out of Raqqa and out of Mosul. Earlier, Human Rights Watch also documented how Islamic State has extensively recruited and trained young people. There are growing fears that children are now involved on both sides of the conflict. You can't only look at it in terms of this battle. You also have to ask yourself, well, what would be the longer-term consequences to Iraqi society and to the future of these children and the next generation if instead of going to school and growing up and learning and supporting their families, they are off participating in what looks like it may be a very uh, brutal and, and difficult battle for Mosul or any other sort of uh, armed conflict. And if we don't get uh, very clear statements, monitoring and some action, we face the risk of having children fighting each other uh, in the battle for Mosul. And the weekly continues in just a moment.